Applause ended more than two days of debate, delivering a powerful rebuke of Russia from the UN General Assembly. A resolution condemning Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, saying the body, quote, deplores in the strongest terms the Russian Federation's aggression against Ukraine. In an overwhelming show of support, 141 of the 193 nations voted in favor. Five voted against Eritrea, North Korea, Syria, Belarus, and of course, Russia. China was among the 35 countries that abstained. The message of the General Assembly is loud and clear. End hostilities in Ukraine now. Silence the guns now. Open the door to dialogue and diplomacy now. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said the resolution, passed in a rare emergency session, brings with it a sense of urgency. But as bad as the situation is for the people in Ukraine right now, it threatens to get much much worse. The ticking clock is a time bomb. Russia claims it is acting in self-defense under the UN Charter, an assertion roundly rejected by the General Assembly. We have demonstrated that Russia is isolated and alone. And that's the cost, that the costs will keep rising until Russia relents. Russia's UN envoy accused the West of pressuring other countries to support the resolution, which he says could fuel further violence. This document will not allow us to end military activities. On the contrary, it could embolden Kiev radicals and nationalists to act at any price holding peaceful civilians hostage. Ahead of the vote, Ukraine's ambassador said Russia was trying to rob Kiev of its right to exist, calling the invasion an attempt at genocide.